In this video, you will learn how to connect and configure a new FortiGate unit in NAT route mode to securely connect a private network to the internet. In NAT route mode, a FortiGate unit is installed as a gateway or router between two networks. In most cases, it is used between a private network and the internet. This allows the FortiGate to hide the IP addresses of the private network using network address translation or NAT. First, you'll need to connect your FortiGate into your network setup. Connect the FortiGate's internet-facing interface, usually WAN1, to your ISP supplied equipment, and connect a PC to the FortiGate using an internal port, usually port 1. Power on the ISP equipment, the FortiGate unit, and the PC that is now on the internal network. On the PC, connect to the FortiGate's web-based interface using Forti Explorer or an internet browser. Log in using the default admin account with username admin and no password. You may need to set a new administrator password for the FortiGate if it's the first time that it's been connected or the device has just been factory reset. Next, you'll need to configure the FortiGate's network interfaces. Go to Network Interfaces and edit the internet facing interface. Set the addressing mode to manual and the IP netmask to the public IP address provided by your ISP. Save the configuration and then edit the LAN interface, which may be called internal on some devices. Set the interface's role to LAN, set the addressing mode to manual, and set the IP netmask to the private IP address you want to assign to the FortiGate. If you need your FortiGate to provide IP addresses to devices connected to the internal network, enable the DHCP server. Save your changes. Changing the default IP of your interfaces is recommended as a security measure, but if you're connected to the FortiGate through that interface, the FortiGate will log you out, and you'll have to navigate to the new interface IP that you set and log in again. Now go to Network Static Routes and create a new route to allow your FortiGate to reach the internet. Set destination to subnet and enter an IP netmask of eight zeros. Set the gateway to the gateway IP provided by your ISP and the interface to the internet facing interface. Save the route. Go to Policy and Objects, IPv4 Policy, and create a new policy which will allow internet traffic through the FortiGate. Set the incoming interface to the internal interface and the outgoing interface to the internet facing interface. Set the rest to allow all traffic and the action to accept. Enable NAT and make sure Use Outgoing Interface Address is enabled. Scroll down to view the logging options. To log and track internet traffic, enable Log Allowed Traffic and select All Sessions. You can now browse the internet using any computer that is connected to the FortiGate's internal interface. You can view traffic that has been processed and logged by your FortiGate by opening the web-based interface and going to FortiView, All Sessions.
Thank you for watching. If you need further details, you can visit docs.fortinet.com to access our complete documentation library. And you can view the written version of this recipe and many others at cookbook.fortinet.com.